Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and for this lesson, we're going to be talking about scientific notation. Now, scientific notation is basically, it's a more concise and a, basically a different way to write a number where you don't have to write, like, all these zeros, right? So how do you convert a number into scientific notation? First thing is you have to identify where the decimal point is. Now, if I look at this number, and this is 3 billion, right? And it's nine zeros, so 3 and then 9 zeros, that's 3 billion. I don't see a decimal point written. But understand that there's an invisible decimal point at the end of the number. So we can understand that there's an invisible decimal point right here, so I'm just going to write it, right? And then what we do is we say, okay, well, how can I change this number into a number that is between 1 and 10? Well, 1 or greater, but less than 10, right? By moving the decimal point, by moving the decimal point. So if I move it one place to the left, it's still not, that number is not going to be between 1 and 10. That's going to be 300 million. If I move it another time, it's going to be 30 million. If I move it another time, it's going to be 3 million. I need to keep moving it until I have created a number that is 1 or greater but less than 10. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I were to move this decimal point here, now I've created a number that's between 1 and 10. I've created 3.0. And all these extra zeros don't really matter because if they're after the decimal point, they're not really relevant. So now I've created a number 3.0. Now in scientific notation, we then write a multiplication sign and we write a 10. And then the question is, what, what exponent is this 10 going to have? The 10 is going to have an exponent. Now, this is how I know what the exponent is going to be. The exponent is, is going to be a 9 because I had to move the decimal point 9 spaces to create this number. So because I had to move the decimal point 9 spaces to create this number, my exponent is going to be a 9. Now, sometimes the exponent can be a negative number. How do you know if it's negative or positive? Because if you had to move, think about the number line. Positive numbers are to the right, negative numbers are to the left. Now, to get back to the original number, since I would have to move to the right to get back to the original number, which is 3 billion, I would have to move to the right. The positive numbers are to the right, so that's why the exponent should be positive. So this is our final answer, 3.0 times 10 to the ninth power. And that's today's lesson.